Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Space Engineers. So this behind me is your base. It's not a very good base, so shame on you. But you want to defend it. And you want to defend it without any input from yourself, other than basic setup. How do you do it? Well, I'm going to show you. I am going to be using Whiplash's Wham script and Lamp script. If you do not know how to use those, I suggest you go back and watch my video on it. Card will be at the top. Link for it will be at the top of this video. And I highly suggest you watch it before watching this video, especially if you don't know how to use these scripts. If you do know how to use them and you know how to use every single feature of them, this video is probably not for you. But what we are going to be doing is using auto fire and remote fire. So what does this mean? Well, this base is going to lock onto a target, fire a missile at an enemy without, without me or you touching anything. Also, this base is going to be firing those missiles without us touching anything. What is this good for? Well, like I said, it's good for you to protect your base without doing anything whatsoever. You don't even have to be paying attention. So if you're out mining somewhere, you know, way up in those hills, you're out mining, and an NPC spawns, or you're on a multiplayer, and they come after you, your base is protected from a great distance away. If you got a defensive ring, let's say not even this. Let's show, let me show you this blueprint here. A lamp. Uh, pace of blocks that aren't in this world. That is perfectly fine. So this is a little remote control, or not a remote control, a uh, little outpost I built. The designated turret is missing on the top because it is a different mod than I currently have in the world. Up front here you got a Gatling turret for personal for defense. And you got two, uh, you know, self-defense turrets. So what you can have is, say, that's your base, and you can have this little outpost here. And you can have a ring of them surrounding your outpost or your base. So, like, say, one here, one over there, and one on each side, right? You know, the four compass points. These can lock onto an enemy and fire a missile that is in your base. The base will be protected. The missile will be protected. And this simple little outpost, I don't want to say it's expendable because you really don't want to lose it, but this is expendable compared to your main base with all your resources. And I'm going to show you how to do it all. Alright, up first, we're going to be using turret mode. And the reason we are going to be using turret mode is it's, a, it's an immobile base. So you can't exactly be using beam riding mode. And you want you need for, forward facing cameras to lock on. But once again, it doesn't move. So you can't be using the cameras. So, we're going to be using turret. And this is our little designated turret. And this saying we got a range of maximum 5,000 meters. We'll set it to uh, 4,000. 4, now next, if we look down at our control screen here, you have this right here, auto fire disabled. Now what this does is, once again, it just auto fires any missile that is attached to your grid. And this is the command, auto fire underscore toggle. So if I come over to this button panel, I find my program block, it's this one right here, hit run, auto, auto fire under, toggle. Now watch, enabled. Now any enemy grid that that designator locks onto it will automatically fire a missile. There's one slight catch with this. If I come over here to the program block and I go into custom data, you see this right here, auto fire interval, one second. That means every second this is going to be firing a missile. If you got 10 missiles, in 10 seconds all of them are gone. And that's probably before the first one even impacts the target. So let's change that. So we'll say 30 seconds. And I'm just going to recompile that for good measure. 
Alright. The next problem is, once again, as I mentioned, if this turret is locked onto a target, it's sending a missile. So if your first one impacts the target, and it is going down, but it's not destroyed, it's still locked on, and it's still going to fire a missile. So let's show this in action. So I want to leave auto fire enabled. I want to get up my target craft. Let's pace some way up there. Watch what happens. Now that sunk down because there was a delay on that from my uh, ignition delay. That's just a missile I built in there itself. You don't have to have that. And boom! Now you see that? There's still some debris. The turret may still be locked onto it, and it is. Auto fire disabled. Now it's no target. Oh, target locked. See what I mean? The designator's bouncing back and forth on a lock on that target. Alright, so that is the auto fire feature of the missile. Now next, I'm going to show you how to remotely auto-fire that missile. First thing you need to do is you need to come into the program block of the missile, custom data, and at the very bottom where you says allow remote firing, make sure that is set to true. And for good measures, I'm going to reset it up. Now I'm going to come over here and I got my designator turret put on. And I'm going to come into my program block of my lamp. Go to custom data. And here it is. Auto fire remote missile equals true. Make sure that's set to true. So now what happens is when this is set to auto fire, right? When that is set to auto fire, it will send a message to any missile within its antenna range and launch it. In this case, it's this, this missile right here within its antenna range. So watch what happens. So first off, just to show you, show you I'm not doing anything with this, auto fire is disabled on this grid. And I must note that whichever grid you have the missile on, it's got to have lamp enabled as well. Otherwise the missile won't set up properly. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to turn on auto fire here. And watch what happens. Got my handy dandy target. Place it up there and watch this. Well, turrets are shooting at them, but look. Boom. There goes your missile. Bam. Alright, let's shut these guys off. So as you've seen, this grid right here fired this missile remotely. Pretty cool, huh? And there's one last thing I'm going to show you. Let me get rid of that. Alright, so there's one last thing I'm going to show you. And this one is also pretty cool. I am going to take that ship and fire that missile at that target. How do you do that? Well, it's the same thing we've been doing already. First things first, we come into this missile, custom data, allow remote firing, set it to true. And for good measures, I'm going to rerun the setup program. Oops. Alright. Whoops. Well, let's do that again. So I'm going to set this missile up. Missile number one. I'll delete that. Custom data. Allow remote firing. 
true. Set that up. Run. All right. Now next up is this command right here. Remote underscore fire. That allows any ship with a lamp script in it, such as this one, to remote fire any missile. So let me find my program block. Run. Remote. Fire. Find my target. Searching for a target. Searching for a target. The target locked. Now watch this. Number two. And wham. There we go. So what is this good for? Well, a couple of things. Kaboom. This is good for a couple of things. Well, number one, if you have a fighter and your base gets attacked, you can, not only can you go out and defend your base, not only can you have your base launching a missile at a target, but you can yourself. You, if you run out of missiles, you can send one from your base. As long as you're within a tenor range, of course. The other thing you can do is... What if you're playing multiplayer? What if you got a friend of yours with, uh, let's say, a heavy bomber loaded down with missiles, call it a missile truck, a flying missile truck, and you, and maybe you or another friend, so friend number two, are out ahead of them attacking the enemies. You can lock on to an enemy grid, an enemy ship, enemy rover, enemy base, and you and your friend can fire the missiles that is in your missile truck behind you a safe distance. So, th ladies and gentlemen, this is the auto fire feature of Wham and Lamp. This is a remote fire feature, and this is the auto remote fire feature. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Like 97% of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. I would really appreciate it. This is Fireman Dan. If you liked it, I will see you next time on Space Engineer.